Good morning and happy Pintober 2nd. Today I am going to be doing a pin with my kids called Exploding Sidewalk Chalk Apple Prints. Um, I'll show you what the pin looks like. And I will definitely link to that below the video. So here it is. Sidewalk Chalk Apple Prints. It's by Learn Play Imagine. So basically this is a paint that's made out of cornstarch and baking soda. And then you use apples to print on the sidewalk with the paint. And after it dries, she put some spices and stuff and I'm not going to be doing that. After it dries you can go back with vinegar and make the paint fizzle and explode. So this is how I'm going to make We need a quarter cup of cornstarch. <laughs> Hey buddy, what's up? You want to watch mommy make paint? Okay, next we need a quarter cup of baking soda. I'm going to put some gel paste food coloring. Just a little bit. And then it says use half a cup of water. Okay, I finished making my red and I also made my yellow paint. Um, if I would have read the instructions a little closer, it said to add this, the water slowly and stop when your paint was thick as you wanted it to be. And I added the whole half cup at once and ran out of cornstarch. So my paint is a little watery, but I think it'll be fine. Also, I would mention too that I probably would have blended my food coloring into the water instead of blending it into the paint, into the powder. I also want to show you how I cut my apples, and I think in the pin they put some craft sticks in the apples, and I've done apple prints a million times before, and I know that those craft sticks eventually loosen and come out and make for frustrated kids and moms. So I went ahead and sliced my apples in half, and then I cut a wedge out of each side, so now there's like a nice grip and the kids can hang on to that and stamp with the apples. So I cut some this way and I cut some of them so you could see the star. It's really simple, just cut a little wedge out of, out of each side so there's a little grip there. Okay, so we're gonna go head outside and try these out. Do some stamping with the apples. Stamp it on the ground. Does it work? Here, let me take the spoons out. Oops. <laughs> Did you fall down? Okay. Look at that. Cool. You can stamp it down really hard. It gets better. Mm hmm. Because if you lift it up, then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we have the vinegar. There's another one on the grass up back behind you. Here's our vinegar. We don't have squeeze bottles. That would be way cooler. But I have some vinegar and a couple little bowls. Okay, use the spoon and dribble some onto your apple prints. Right on my plate. Let's see what happens. I don't want this. I want a paint. You want to use the paintbrush? Look at your spoon, Hannah. It's getting all foamy. Dribble it on the prints that you made. Right here. Right there. No, I made one right here. Okay, dribble it on it. Why is it getting all bubbly? Is it getting all bubbly? Yeah. Cool. Is it bubbling, yeah. Autumn? Yep. Bubbling. 
So I think overall the sidewalk chalk apple prints was a huge success. The girls turned it into a big sensory project. They turned on the hose and was they were hosing everything down and then they were talking about frogs and all kinds of stuff. So it was a segue to a bunch of other learning that was really fun and the sidewalk chalk did not stain the sidewalk at all. I, I hosed it off pretty fast because I was kind of worried since I used food coloring. But um, yeah, it didn't leave any marks or stains or anything and um, I think it was really great. So um, if you are participating in Pintober and you want me to link to you below, please send me a message and I'd be happy to put a link to your channel. And I'll also include a link to the original pin and the blog that the pin connected to and all that good stuff. So, okay, we'll see you tomorrow for Pintober 3rd.